At a glance, the Little Guy Max and the Tab 400 look similar. But today we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the differences for yourself. Hi, I'm Randy and every Thursday I help weekend warriors make every moment count because weekends are just too short. I own a Little Guy Max and my friends Patty and Patrick from Travels with Delaney own a Tab 400. I'm going to share my Little Guy Max with you and Patrick is going to share his Tab 400 with you. So come on, let's get the side-by-side -side comparison going. Let's start by looking at the kitchen in the Little Guy Max. Here is an overview look at the kitchen and the refrigerator is located on the other side of the sink and stove. There is a deep stainless steel sink with a two burner propane stove. There is a nice big window in the kitchen and all windows have a nightshade that you can pull up and a screen that you can pull down. The cabinets are all hardwood and above the sink we've got a large cabinet here. And right next to the cabinet is a microwave. Below the kitchen counter is a deep cabinet with lots of space there. And to the side of that cabinet are three drawers. The top drawer comes with a built-in silverware tray. And the drawers below offer a lot of additional storage for kitchen things. The kitchen also includes a ceiling to floor pantry. The top cabinet offers a shelving that is adjustable and these cabinets are real deep. And more storage in this cabinet. The refrigerator is a three-way refrigerator. And it also has a freezer. Just above the refrigerator is additional storage. Below the refrigerator is another deep drawer for extra storage. The command center is located on the kitchen cabinet and here we've got our hot water and our water pump as well as our light switch and other light switches right here as well as a Ferion stereo system. And right here we've got a outlet and this switch is for the night lights. On the ceiling is the air conditioning unit and we've also got our King Jack. All right, Patrick, show us the kitchen in the Tab 400. Hey, thank you, Randy. And for all of you that don't know me, I'm Patrick from YouTube's Travels with Delaney, and I'm standing in my 2018 New Camp Tab 400. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the kitchen here in the Tab 400. The kitchen is actually located right beside the front door when you walk in. And the first thing you'll notice is this lift up glass lid that gives you this nice steel sink and faucet. We also, to maximize space in here, have the glass lid on the two burner propane stove. And there's also the shelf at the end that can be placed in the up position or the down position if you want to extend your kitchen space. We have the big window here in the kitchen which can be open for ventilation. And these do have both the screens and they also have the nightshade option. They can be combined together to, so that you can set at whatever level you choose. Now, for a small kitchen space, there are lots of usable space and storage. But before we go to storage, you'll see right here we have a 110 outlet and we also have a 12 volt plug. Up above, we have two large cabinets and you can see they're nice and deep. And this is where you can store lots of kitchen items. These are a nice solid wood cabinet. Right beside of that is another 
deep storage cubby where you can store things. Control panels for your air conditioning, heating and water heater, as well as lights and water pump, and your monitoring system are all located right here on the side of the cabinets in the kitchen. Right above the kitchen hallway is going to be a fantastic fan as well as additional lighting. Under the sink, we have a big cabinet that has one shelf in it. And right beside of that, we have a drawer that comes with a silverware tray with additional storage beneath it. And we also have a cabinet with a shelf. And you can see two nice deep areas. Right beside of it is the two-way refrigerator. This will work on shore power and it will also operate on battery. Um, this is a compressor style refrigerator, which is different than your normal RV refrigerator. And it does have a small ice box up top. Right below the refrigerator is another storage drawer that you can use. And again, nice and deep. There is an option in the Tab 400 to actually upgrade to a larger three-way refrigerator that would be located right across from the kitchen area in the wardrobe. All right, Randy, back to you to look at the next area. Thanks, Patrick. Next, let's take a look at the dinette area in the Little Guy Max, and I'll also show you how it folds down to a bed. This is the dinette area in the Little Guy Max. There are two benches with a table, and there are three windows in the dinette area. Above the windows are cubbies that surround the dinette area for extra storage. There are also reading lights on both sides of the dinette, one on this side, and there's another one over there. Next to each bench is a, another cubby area. There is also a TV in the dinette area that you access by pressing this button. There is a deep storage cabinet below this bench that goes all the way back. And below this bench is the water heater. The table is portable and can be moved outside, but let me show you now how to put it down and turn it into a bed. And the table slides in like that. And then we simply need to put the cushions on top of the table and the bench. And now we have a second bed in the Little Guy Max. As we're doing the side-by-side -side comparison, what differences are surprising to you? Let me know in the comments section below. All right, Patrick, show us the dinette in the Tab 400. One of my favorite areas in our Tab 400 is the dinette area because it is so versatile. As a dinette, you can comfortably seat three people. On the driver's side, you will find the porthole with some storage areas and there are nightshades to close up your porthole in the evening. Up above, you'll see storage areas, a small shelf towards the front, and another storage area on the passenger side. And finally, over here, we have one more porthole that also includes the nightshade for privacy. The big front window gives you a great view and also includes the screen and the nightshade option. The dinette can be made into a bed that will comfortably sleep one adult by putting the table in the down position and putting a special cushion that comes with your trailer in the center. There's also a third option for this area, and if you reverse the back cushions to the opposite sides, you can turn this into a sofa. The table was specifically designed to have a little bit of an overhang so that your sofa would have a place to set your beverages while you're setting here. And because the TV in the bedroom area is on a swing arm, you can comfortably see the TV from the sofa. Under the passenger side of the dinette, you will find a small storage area. However, on the driver's side, there is no storage area because that is where your Cool Cat AC and heat pump is housed. Thank you, Patrick. Next up, let's take a look at the bedroom in the Little Guy Max. The first thing you'll notice about the bedroom area in the Little Guy Max is this wonderful stargazing window. 
the little guy Max does have a full queen size bed. And on the foot area of the bed are more cubby spaces and a swivel TV as well as a surround sound bar. On the head side of the bed is a, another window and additional cubby space up above. There are two reading lights located on the head side of the bed as well. There is additional cubby space located next to the bed as well as a plug-in and two USB ports. Directly below the bed is an additional drawer. And this is a deep drawer with a lot of storage space. Next to the bed is a large closet. It's a deep closet with a lot of space and the shelving is adjustable. There is also a rod to hang your clothes. All right, Patrick, take it away and show us the bedroom in the Tab 400. The bedroom area in the Tab 400 features a 56 inch by 78 inch queen size bed and comes with these three comfortable pads. It also comes with the amazing Froley sleep system already installed. At the foot of the bed, you will find a nice shelf to set things and it comes with a TV on a swivel arm. You also have the large stargazing window in the back and at the headboard area, you find two reading lights that can be either a blue color or they can be a bright white and they can be controlled individually as well as accent lighting along the bottom. And on this side, you'll find a cubby for more storage along with two USB ports and a 110 plug. Right beside of the bed is a large wardrobe. When you open the door, you'll see a mirror. You'll see three large cubbies and this very large area with a hanging rod for clothing. Also located in here is access to your glycol tank for your Aldi heating system. And finally, right below the wardrobe is going to be your electrical panels and your CO detector. Thank you, Patrick. Next up, let's take a look at the bathroom in the Little Guy Max. The Little Guy Max has a wet bath and a long mirror. You have a shower head with your water temperature controls. It also comes with a hanging storage rack that includes three large deep pouches. The bathroom does include a marine style toilet and a marine style paper toilet holder. Up above, you've got a Dometic fan to let air out. This is the bathroom in the Little Guy Max. All right, Patrick, show us the bathroom in the Tab 400. The bathroom in the Tab 400 is located directly across from the kitchen, and you'll find a mirror on the door. Now, inside, you will find this sliding shower head along with your hot and cold controls. The bathroom is also heated with the Aldi heating system. Over here, you'll find storage for towels and almost like a medicine cabinet, along with a fold down sink in the bathroom area. And the commode is located back in the corner and it does come standard with the marine grade toilet paper holder. Now, as far as how you keep the wet bath dry during showering, it includes a shower curtain that actually covers three sides of the bathroom. And the only areas that will be wet when you're done will be your front wall and your shower pan. Finally, the shower features a small fan for ventilation that can be used to bring air in or take air out of your bathroom area. Thank you, Patrick. Next up, let's go outside and look at some of the exterior features on the Little Guy Max. The Little Guy Max does have a thrill crown awning and on top is our king jack and our solar panels. On this side of the Little Guy Max are two speakers, as well as a place to insert the TV from the dinette right out here. This is the TV hookup, and over on this side, we've got plug-ins and two USB ports. The Little Guy Max does have a deep outdoor storage, and this is a pass-through storage that goes all the way through to the other side. 
And that's a look at the rear of the Little Guy Max. And on the driver's side is additional access to the storage, as well as a separate compartment for your black hose. There also is an outdoor shower. And in the front of the Little Guy Max is a container to hold a propane tank and the battery. So the Tab 400 has some of the same features that the Little Guy Max does. We do have an outdoor light up above right here, and we do also have two 110 plugins. So you can plug in whatever you want when you're outside. We also have an outdoor storage compartment. However, this is not a pass-through, but you can see it goes in pretty deep and it's also accessible from underneath the bed. Go ahead and walk around the back. There is an optional solar panel that you can get and we do actually have that on our Tab 400. Now on this side is your sewer hose storage. This is the vent for your Aldi heating system. And then I love this outdoor compartment because all it is is not storage, but it's all of your valves in one convenient location, including your bypass valve and all of your low point drain valves, as well as your water heater. 30 amp hookup, cable hookup. And in this compartment is your water supplies. City water here, fresh water tank right here. We also have the outdoor shower, both hot and cold water, and we have a black tank flush right here. And finally, on the front of a Tab 400, you have a bucket, and that is where your propane is stored. Thank you, Randy, for asking me to do this video with you to show a comparison between the Little Guy Max and the Tab 400. I know I found it interesting, and I hope all of you did too. Back to you, Randy. This was a lot of fun doing this video, and I want to thank you again, Patrick, for doing this video with me. I'm going to leave a link again to your channel right here, as well as in the show notes below. Also, I've got my top four favorite hacks that I've done to my little guy, Max, that can be done to a Tab 400 or any other small camper trailer. And I'm going to leave a link to that video right here because I think you'll find it interesting. So go check it out.